Opening today, a local review of a study just out about Colorado's infrastructure. It suggests we waste $2,300 a year in car maintenance because of the time we spend sitting in traffic and driving over potholes and other road problems. Denver 7 reporter Eric Lufer is live now. And Eric, we know CDOT doesn't have the money to fix all these problems. You know, Molly, the number's been tossed around for a while now, CDOT's $9 billion backlog. I can tell you what has been funded, the I-25 gap, the Central 70 project, and the North Express Lanes project, but so many other roads need a lot of work. Take a look. Some good news, CDOT expects to have about $1.6 billion to spend this fiscal year, which starts Sunday. That's from registrations, the gas tax, the state's general fund, and other sources. State lawmakers also approved an extra three. $372 million for road work and other transportation projects. New at 5.30, we checked with the gubernatorial candidates on their plans for transportation. Walker Stapleton says he will make CDOT find the money in their existing budget without raising taxes. Jared Polis says he wants to find new sources of revenue and find existing money in the general fund to pay for transportation. But neither of the candidates will take office until January. That's going to be two months after voters will likely decide if they want to raise the tax by a little more than five cents to help pay for roads. So a lot of work to be done. We'll see if the money will be available. I'm Eric Luther, Denver 7.